This is the shortest song in the world. Okay, a little backstory on this old Dodge pickup. That's been sitting in that same spot for 15 years. Uh, the gentleman that owned it passed away in 2001, and uh, his sons own the orchard. And I do work for them, but I didn't pay much too much attention to this old truck until this last spring. And then I kind of walked around it and looked it over and thought, well, it's pretty straight, you know. Might make kind of a cool old driver if you knock a little rust off of it and maybe clear coat it, throw some wheels and tires on it. I just took a chance that the engine was not seized and uh, cut a deal with the owners and they were pretty happy to get it out of there since all it was doing was sitting there and they knew I'd give it a good home. So, well, you guys know what happened next. Yep, that's right, in old Kerwood, Rugger home. Well, about three weeks ago, we pushed it into the shop Okay, boss. And lo and behold, she fired up. Now, I know that some of you, maybe a lot of you, will not agree with the direction I went with this old truck, but I'm not into restorations. So it'd be a boring world if we all did the same thing anyway. So let's take a look at what I had, what I did, and what I have now. I pulled that beat up old bumper off the front replaced it with a chrome one that I had laid out back. I replaced the master cylinders for the brakes and the clutch. Hey, I did a, a major tune-up on this old Blue Diamond last night. That's what I've decided to call this rig. It's kind of been a diamond in the rough, you know. It's really been fun bringing this thing back to life. Um, so last night I got in there and uh, changed the oil, filter, uh, spark plugs, plug wires, cap rotor, condenser, and uh, she purrs like a kitten. I still got to pull the drums off and check the brakes, check the brake shoes, just see what they look like, maybe adjust them up a little bit. So uh, right now I'm on another mission though. I'm getting ready to fill my little air tank here because I got to go up, air up some tires on it on another rig that I'm working on. You just can't have too many rigs, you know. You just gotta have all these projects. I'll be 137 years old when I get them all done. I pulled this ragged old seat out, did a little bit of work on it, added some foam. Um, then I replaced the seat cover with one I got from eBay for 20 bucks and free shipping. It looks a little better. Threw in a carpet as well. Got a pretty bad little indentation right in this area. I think I want to get inside and apply some hammer and see what happens. Well now here, I was just taking some of the ugly out of it. I had to use both hands to make this work so I didn't catch it on video, but it did work. And that's what I mean by elbow grease. Of course, every once in a while you gotta break up the monotony of all this work and take her for a little test drive. Last time I drove it, I just happened to notice that all the gauges are working uh, and the speedometer works. That's kinda odd for one that's sat around for 15 years. Usually the gas gauge don't Man, this is fun. I don't know how late they did that, uh, left-handed thread. This is a 1965, and it's got left-handed thread. So you gotta tighten it to loosen it. Yes, sir. Keep it real. Keep it old school.
I had these old Dodge Rams that I had decided to not use on the Dojalac. And they fit the curve of that hood just perfectly. Still got to clean up my felt pin marks. Uh, like I said, some of you won't agree with what I did next, but I color sanded through that paint purposely. I wanted to expose some of the primer and then I covered it with clear coat. And that's exactly the look I was going for. Now you always have to check to see if it's positive. And it is. Well, I don't know about anybody else, but I think that's a pretty good looking old truck. Chevy bumper on there. Don't that look nice? I'm going to replace the windshield so I didn't bother to clean it up. Got a pretty bad exhaust leak, but I'm gonna put dual exhaust on it anyway, so I'll be taking care of that.